Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Leanna Brinder, Business Editor for the International Business Times. Joining me now is a very special guest. It's Eloise Mockler, who's the Director of Yogpog. So hi, thanks for joining Hello, us. Hello, no problem, thank you. Great, well, um, it's a very exciting subject. We're talking employment and um, entrepreneurs. Yeah. And um, so when we look at youth unemployment, um, whether it's the UK or in Europe, um, we talk about statistics and numbers. However, um, one of the um, major issues is how to get these people into employment. But you've been there on the front line. You're 22 years old, you've just graduated, yeah. um, but you've just started work. So what, has the, what is the atmosphere actually like? Um, I didn't find it particularly difficult, to be honest, to move from university to getting a job because I got a huge amount of internships. Um, every year I had internships in the summer and in the winter. So obviously I gained experience and knowledge like along the way, which obviously helped my CV. So when I actually came to graduating from university, I already had a job lined up. So I was, I was lucky in that sense, really. I was really proactive and tried really hard to kind of speak to different people. So I didn't find it a huge challenge as such to kind of get a job. But I think it's all to do with the hard work you put in from the beginning. You need to, you know, it's not going to come to you. You've got to work hard to kind of get the position that you want. Sure. Um, so, but when it came to, um, I suppose, all your other friends at university, yeah. um, what has their feeling been like when they've been obviously doing their studies? Because one of the major issues is that we have a lot of graduates, but yeah. not necessarily jobs to go to. Yeah. So what would you say is the advice in terms of trying to secure a job? Um, I would just say you've just got to work hard and you've got to try and find a job yourself. No one's going to come up to you and offer you a job without getting experience and getting internships and ringing people up and even doing, even if it's unpaid, you've got to go out there and try and get it yourself because it's not going to come to you. So I would just say be proactive, be determined, get a good CV, work hard and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work. <laughs> well, so do you think that um, doing internships is actually a really key change in the way of being able to get success in the workplace? Yeah, I think probably about 20 years ago or something, university was basically supreme. People went to university, you could guarantee the job, whereas today the majority of people are going to university, which you do need the degree, but it gets your foot in the door. So you also need to get the internships and get the experience to then have a really good CV to go to employers with. Sure. One of the exciting things is that startups and entrepreneurs is, you know, testament of people trying to make their own opportunities. Yeah. And on top of that, they are kind of the lifeblood of our economy along with SMEs. So as someone who um, still at a very young age um, and has just graduated but have launched their own business already, how did you get from idea to the middle part to the actual creation and distribution? Yeah, well I came up with the idea, I was working in London after I graduated and I was skipping lunch, skipping meals, so I was grabbing a fizzy drink or a chocolate or something that would just fill me up, which wasn't particularly nutritious. So that's when I started to decide, basically decided to trial different recipes, different ingredients to find something which will fill me up for longer so I'll be less likely to snack and it will keep me going through the day. Um, so basically I just decided to do that. There was nothing on the market, researched it, did focus groups and thought there's a gap, there's an opportunity, why don't I just try and do it? So from there I had to research from scratch because I'd never run a business, never worked in the food industry in my life, had to research what I needed to do. So it was calling people up, asking questions, probably annoying people, keep hassling them to try and get the answers. And then from there it was obviously talking to the buyers, which was a difficult part because I'd never done it before. So again, it was just learning and sending people emails. And it was just basically a hurdle at a time, I would say, rather than, I had no idea what to do. It was just trial and error. Sure. And I mean, on those hurdles, I mean, one of the... I suppose the main part of why some people can't get those ideas to launch yeah. is because of financing. So in terms of Yogpog, how did you find one getting financial backing and financing and what is it like now? Yeah, um, basically family and friends kind of gave me startup capital. Overall, I think it was only about £3,000, which I needed. And that's, that's what we've actually used so far, it's just £3,000. It hasn't been a huge sum of money, but it's really just been from friends and from family. I mean, I had tiny amount of savings because obviously I went to university got student loans so it was really just from help from others okay and did you I mean have you spoken to banks or maybe you know smaller firms in terms of trying to get the capital in the first place um, I decided I didn't want to go down the bank route at this stage I didn't really want to have any more loans because I've already got student loans and I thought I want to try and keep it 
everything's, you know, I haven't really got to worry about debt or anything else. Um, so we haven't done that at that stage in the company, but later on we probably will have to. Sure. Okay. And so um, what's next in terms of brand? Because we're talking about you've now just started, but naturally you'll have a medium and long term strategy on how yeah. things are going. So in terms of the product distribution and the financing side, what are your thoughts? Um, well, at the moment, we just launched in Budgeons. We're going to be in the Southern Cooperative in September. We've just got with a large distributor. We're in talks with Morrisons and we're in talks with Waitrose for next year for it to be stocked. So the main aim, long term, is obviously to get it in the major UK supermarkets and just to kind of get the brand known so people are aware of it. So it's basically just getting the PR, building up, doing the marketing, speaking to more supermarkets and just seeing where we go, really. Great. Well, as a fellow graduate of Sussex University, um, you know, it's, it's great to hear about the success. How has the, did the university do anything as well round the scenes to really help you or promote you? What was the atmosphere like in trying to get you from um, degree to success afterwards? Um, basically, all the PR, they've really, really helped with it in terms of social media, Twitter, Facebook. They've been kind of promoting it and stating the university graduate has just launched a product which is in shops. So they've really helped in that respect and they're letting me hold taster sessions there and we're going to be in the cooperative at the University of Sussex in September. So they're helping with that and the launch of it and tastings and so they've been really, really helpful. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and that was Eloise Mockler. She's the director of Yogpog.